Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. Hippo TC here with everything you need to know about Season 7 and the Captaincy update for Sea of Thieves. Let's jump in. Season 7 is here, and with it comes one of the most requested updates for Sea of Thieves since the launch of the game. Captaincy. What does this mean? Well, we now have the ability to name our ship, customize it, and save our ship preset look. This is bigger than we ever imagined, and I cannot wait for it. Not only can you buy and name your ship, which will cost you a pretty penny of 250k for a sloop, 375k for a brig, and 500k for a galleon, but you can customize your ship with new ship decorations, including the chair, table, and rug. You can also place unique trinkets around your ship, showing off things maybe you've earned and unlocked over time. It seems also like a fun bonus if in combat or a storm, these uh, trinkets can get uh, the alignment knocked off. So if you're perfectionist, you're going to have to adjust these after each encounter. Other cool features are your ship will maintain the scars of battle over play sessions. So you can choose to show off the battles you have been in, or if you want it to look new again, you can pay for that at the shipwright. In addition to this, each captain's ship will have a ship log that is a permanent record for that ship, meaning you will be able to track everything you've accomplished over time. Things like gold earned, repairs made, days at sea, etc. Each milestone is divided into alignments. The gold seeker, the voyager, the emissary, the hunter, and the feared. I will do a deep dive into this later in another video. Each alignment will offer unique milestones tailored to that alignment. On top of that, you can purchase Captain's Voyages. These new voyages allow for you as a player to customize how you play, what voyages you do, and how long you want to be out there voyaging. As a captain, you have a logbook on your table so that others can look at it. This logbook will keep a record of what you have done. However, if you manage to sink, the logbook is a sellable item that can be sold at Reaper's Hideout. So you want to make sure that you do your best to keep your ship afloat. Last but not least, I do want to mention you can even customize your ship crest, which is pretty awesome. So not only can you customize the look of your ship, not only can you add unique trinkets in unique places, but you can also customize the ship crest, which is awesome. If that's not all, we also see the introduction of a new company called the Sovereigns. This new company will only work if you are on a captain's ship because they only deal with captains. You can sell any of the loot here you normally sell to any other trading company similar to the Reaper's Hideout. This new trading company makes it even easier to sell large amounts of loot with this fancy schmancy harpoon and an elevator making it even easier to get a large amount of loot sold quickly. On top of all this, you can now make the start of your voyages even faster by stocking your ship with wood, cannonballs, blunder and fire bombs, fruit, meat, and worms. Yes worms this new feature will save you time at the start of a new play session there's other quality of life changes as well such as map zooming and we get stools yes stools people as per with each season we get new rewards to earn as we progress including new tattoo and scar set unique clothing cosmetics ship cosmetics and the best of all being you can finally get merrick's jacket and cutlass New emissary unlocks as well for each training company and a brand new plunder pass, which includes a fun new costume, clothing, and ship cosmetics. Over in the Pirate Emporium, we see a lot of new things as well. We see new items, emotes, clothing, and ship cosmetics. So if you find something you fancy, get ready to spend some of your ancient coins that you have earned and or purchased and get to looking as fancy as you want. We even get this new costume here. And there you go. That's everything you need to know for Season 7. I plan to dive a little bit deeper into each of these things like the sovereigns, maybe ways that you can do this the most efficient and whatever the case might be there. So keep an eye out for those videos and I can't wait. I hope to see you guys out on the seas.